Hello, you're with Libby Dyson from LibbyStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I'm going to bring you a card using the Varied Vases stamp set and the Builder Punch that goes with it. It's a bundle and we're going to make the card together. Don't worry, your stamps do come inside the pack. This is one of my tips that I thought I'd share with you. When I've finished using a particular stamp, and if I'm in a bit of hurry or doing a video, I put the stamp back on the front of the stamp case so I know where it is. And then later on I can go and make all this noise and put them away. But at least I know where I've put them and that I have the right number of stamps out and that's just one way of keeping them uh, while I'm working. All right, one of my other tips is to use another stamp case under the plate of your Stamparatus. Doesn't matter what stamp set it is, it just needs to be one of the narrow ones. Stick it just there next to your Stamparatus and then the plate will sit flat for stamping and what have you. We're going to make a card using lovely lipstick and blueberry bushel. So I'm going to actually make some noise. I'm going to use the Stamparatus and we're going to stamp the bookshelf. I'm going to just ink up the outline with basic grey and stamp it down. There we go. And then with the chamois to clean that off. And then I'm going to bring my shelf in and put that over. I should do this the other way around, but right about there. So make sure that's straight and pop that down with my fingers. In with some lovely lipstick. Lovely lipstick's quite vibrant, so you don't need a lot. Stamp down, keep your fingers crossed. Oh, need a bit more ink there. There we go. That's better. All right. And then I'm going to get um, a sentiment. And I think I'll do thanks. And I'm going to ink that up in basic grey. And I'm just going to pop it there on top of the shelf. I might actually just move this over so I've got it lined up on my grid paper. There we go. And ink it up with basic grey and stamp down. Perfang. Alright, clean it off with the chamois and now we're going to do some um, flowers. Outline to the flowers first. There, I'm going to move the magnet down here. Lined up on the grid paper. There we go. So, and I'll do, I'll do this one in the middle. Right, so I'll do that one. About there. And I'll do this one. About here. And one more. I might just do the stem, I think. Put that one on there. Okay, so that's where we're going to have our... Um, that should be right like that. So, in again with my hinged plate. This is another good thing about having the Stamparatus. You can stamp another a number of images at, in one go. You can just line them up where you want them and stamp them. Alright, so over we go, push down, and how we go. Yep, that's good. Now the chamois doesn't take the place of your stamp and mist and your stamp and scrub because they're designed to actually condition your stamp, so you still need them. And every now and then just put your stamps onto a block 
and um, clean them with your stamp and mist and your stamp and scrub. That'll keep them in good condition. Alright, I just want, and um, I just need one more here. I need there, and I'm just going to put that about there. Give it a bit of a push, make sure it's down right, and in with your ink. Yep, good on me. I'm good at getting ink everywhere today, aren't I? I think I need shares in the wet wipe company. Alright, over we go. Beautiful. Alright, now that's all we need the basic grey for because when we do the inside we're going to cheat and just use the lovely lipstick. So lovely lipstick and blueberry bushel are new in colours for 2018-2020. Alright, now I'm going to come in with the flowers and... Just match these up like that. They're pretty well matched, I think. All right, so that's that one. Then I need and the other flowers. We've already done the outlines. We're just going to do the coloured bits now. And again, we're going to do all of them at once. Let's lift that up a little bit. Gorgeous, gorgeous set this is. Just lovely. This is Mary Fish has designed this in conjunction with Stampin' Up! And it's Mary's $1 million sales achievement stamp set. Alright, so in with the lovely lipstick. And yes, it's very vibrant. You could stamp off if you wanted to. Down we go. Okay. Still didn't get them all. There we go. I might just come in with a vase. So I've put the. So I'm just going to come in with a vase. This one's sort of pretty. So I'll we'll just stamp that on there. This is for the inside of our card, for the insert. And I'm going to do that in Blueberry Bushel. Right, there we go. How's that? And then for the envelope, I'm going to bring that in. That'll go down there with my magnet. And just need to move the stamp. It won't matter if I put it on the envelope and there's a bit of a shadow because it'll stamp down over the top so stamp it down there all right just make sure that's back in place and with the blueberry bushel again stamp down give it a rub all right so there we've got our envelope and the inside of our card done and we're almost done. I'll just move this out of the way and I'll come in and do finish off the card. And right now, let's see inside of my card. Oh, we haven't punched our flowers out yet. So I'm using the 2018-2020 in colour 6x6 designer series paper and just look at it. Just lovely. So we're going to use one of these and the punch. Don't panic, they're not all going to be the same. So I'll just punch down. I've got some extra bits there I can use at a later date. And all right, in with some liquid glue. And I'm just going to put some liquid glue on this side of this one and this side of this one. Turn them over and we've got our beautiful vases to sit on our shelf with our beautiful plants in it. Alright, so this one goes down over here. There we go. Uh, stripes there. 
And then this one I'm going to put a dimensional on. Put that on there and we're done. I'm just moving that so it's just catching that. I'll just move this over. Just catching the edge there. There like that. And we've got our vase. And we just need to finish off our card. And I've got lovely lipstick card base which is 14.9 by 21 or five and a half by eight and a half um scored and folded at 10.5 or uh, four and a quarter i've got another piece that is uh 13.9 by 9.5 anyway i'll put all the measurements up on my blog for you and then come in with our on with our card fronts there we go and then our insert is going to go in here i like liquid glue because it gives me some wriggle room and i'm a bit of a messy stamper as you've seen so there we go all right, there's our card, and I've put the envelopes on my sack. There's the envelope. Okay, so thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you can buy all these products in my online store. So don't forget, shop with Libby at LibbyStamps.com, and I'll send you a thank you card and a little gift. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much. It'll Bye for now. Creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside your mind. You'll find inspiration.